I'm going to explain to you how you can create beautiful designs with a few clicks of a button. I'll give you the introduction of Canva, how you can create a poster or design or video within a few minutes with a click of a button. And that's what makes Canva so useful because you don't really need to learn anything. You don't need to install anything. As long as you have an internet connection and you are able to go to a website, that's all you need to do. I'll explain to you the different design elements that are part of Canva, how you can quickly make changes. I'll also touch upon videos in Canva. There will be a Q&A session. So with that, let's get started. Let me switch to my Canva view. All you need to do is know this website canva.com. Create your account. Once you create an account, what exactly can you do in Canva? First of all, as you can see in Canva, you can create all kinds of content by using the templates that are available in Canva. For example, an Instagram post is a square shape. Let's say I want to create an Instagram post. Choose Instagram post. The templates are available for us and it will open a square design. And on the left hand side, you can start scrolling and get design ideas. Let's say you find this. You click on it and you have the beginning of your design. All we now need to do is make some modifications to this design. And within a few minutes, your Instagram post is ready. Let's say you want to have a clearance sale. Click on this and you can move it around. Maybe the color is not up to your liking. You want to change it to a different color. Click on this text color and you can change the color to something else. And let's say instead of springtime sale, you want to call it clearance sale. Your first part is already done. This photo, for example, you want to change it to something else. We can change all of these elements. You can click on different elements in the design and change any element that you want. Let me go back by clicking on the home button. For example, I want to have, let's say, an Instagram story. And what's the difference? Usually this Instagram story has some video element, right? So, and the shape of it, it should fit on the phone. So it's tall in size. So let me click on the Instagram story and see what can I do with that. So as you can see, the shape is no longer like the Instagram post, which are square. This time the shape is like the size of your phone, the same dimensions. Again, you have the design ideas at the left. You just select it and start playing around with it. Photo, again, you can change the photo using Canva. Because of these millions of templates that are available, all we need to do is drag and drop. And again, most of them, as you can see, are free. I have loaded a template which is made up of four pages. You are not restricted to one page. You can have multiple pages. But what if you want to really become a designer? What if you want to really create something from scratch? Now, this is the main part of my presentation now. So let me again go back home and start from scratch. We have a square shape, but I will not use the templates which are on the left. I will create things myself. So I have a canvas. Think of it like a painter. What things can we put in Canva on this blank canvas? So first thing is the canvas itself can have a color. I click on this canvas and you can see it has now highlighted to me that I am in the canvas by the blue lines around. And this button, which has background color, it appears, I click on it and I can choose any color that I want. There are some default colors on the left hand side. But I'm not restricted to that. I have the entire 16 million colors. Uh, that's the range or the maximum colors that we can uh, display on a, on a computer device. So I can click on this and I have this, what we call the color wheel. I can just scroll through it, choose one of the colors like this, you know, and you can move it around to get that shade. Or I want a bluish shade, move it to the blue section again move it around. So that's how you choose the color. The next thing is what can we place on the canvas? And on the left hand side, we can see on the canvas, we can place what we call uploads. Uploads are nothing but your personal photos that you have uploaded or your own videos. Next, you can put on the canvas the millions of photos that are already available to you in Canva free. For example, I want to have a photo, let's say of picnic. 
So it will bring for you the photos. So if I click on it, it will place the photo on the canvas. Now I can start playing around with it. I can drag this blue line and make it big or small. I can just click on the picture and I can move it around and place it wherever I want. We can also place what we call elements. Elements is what makes your design attractive. And so we have lots of elements available for us. So let me first start with shapes because shapes is the one which I like to use a lot. So we have this various shapes and I click on see all. So as you can see, we have a lot of shapes and shapes is the building blocks of creating a good poster. Let me, for example, drop this shape. It's a donut kind of shape. And remember the shape doesn't have to be on the canvas. Like what I can do is I can make it big and only show part of the shape on the canvas. So the part that is outside of the canvas will not be seen. And that allows me to create some interesting design elements, right? And obviously I want to change the color of it. So I click on it and go up here, which says color and choose any of the colors. Again, use the standard colors or the one of the 16 million colors that you have available for you. Another shape, color. The next important thing, of course, is the text. So there are different ways we can place text. A simple way is you have these three options called heading, subheading, and body. Add a heading. It will bring a line of text for you. And you can now change it. You can move it around, increase the size. If you want it on one line, then you can move it horizontally till it becomes like this. If you don't like the font, change the font from here. And you have hundreds, maybe thousands of options that you can play around with. The color of the text can also be changed. Canva is very smart because when I place text on a dark background, in this case, this is a dark, automatically it made the color of this text white to make it contrast so you can read it. Because if the color was dark also, then you will not be able to read properly. Try to have a contrasting color so people can read clearly. You also have this option blocks of text that are already defined as a graphic element. If you want one of this text, what happens is it has predefined multiple texts. You just have to change the text. Notice by the way that this text is currently in black. That's because when I placed it, the background was white. Let me remove it and put it again, just to show you how smart Canva is. Let me remove all this. Now the background is dark, right? I'll put the same text. I'll click on this. And notice it became white because Canva knows that the background was a dark color. So I may better make the text contrasting. But by the way, if once you drop this text and you find that maybe you don't want one of these elements because there are multiple elements here, right? One, two, three, four elements are there. You don't want this. You can remove just that element and keep the rest. So we have seen now we can put your photos, put elements, you can put text. Now, I will show you the process of uploading your own photos. So let me remove this photo from here. I'll click delete and I want to bring my own photo, the photo which is not in Canva. So as I mentioned to you that you can upload your own photos, but how do you do it? You can click on the upload and these are all the photos that I have previously uploaded, but I want to upload a new one. So click this button, upload an image or video, and you have options to upload from the computer, from Facebook, from Google Drive. I will use the computer. You will see that it is loading this photo from my computer. So when I clicked on it, it allowed me to go to a particular folder where this photo was stored. And this will be available to me anytime I want to use the, this photo. It will be in Canva all the time. So I click on it and it will bring the photo for me. Again, resize it. As Dr. Mega said, sometime by mistake, I delete the photo and I say, oh, Okay, I want to get it back. So here we have an option called undo, all right? So I click on this arrow and it will bring back whatever the last step was, it will bring it. Now, one interesting thing I want to show you for photos, which is available only in the pro version of Canva. It is not available for free. It has something called effects. So you can see that this photo, I'll make it little big so you can see it properly. 
is a photo of a person, but it has all this background. I, I just want this his photo only. I don't want this background, right? So if you have the pro version of Canva, you can click on the effects option and you can use the background remover. It takes a few seconds and voila, you have a beautiful photo. Magically, Canva has now made without any background. Now, the question you might ask me is, I am using a free version of Canva. What can I do? How can I get something like that? And the way you can do it, if you are using a free version is, you can go to a website called remove.bg. It's free, but it's one extra step that you have to do. And in this website, you can click upload image and I'll upload the same image just to give you an idea. I selected the same image and you can see it has removed all the background of that image. So you can download that image and same steps, download it on your PC, then go to Canva and upload it into Canva and you can start using it. Next part I want to highlight to you and I want to make it into a video, have some music. So that's the next part. You created something, but now you want to convert it into a movie to make it something which is static, something that's not moving into something that moves is very simple in Canva. First of all, we can animate it. So there's an option called animate. I click on animate and we can do some kind of animation in that poster. So all the objects that I had placed, remember this is an object. The text is an object. The photo is an object. The star is an object. So there are a couple of objects here. So when I click on animate, so you can choose one of these animations. So this way you have already created a animation, a movie. And how long is this movie? You can see now the moment I did that, it says it's five seconds long. If I want it longer, I can increase it. Let's say to 10 seconds. Remember people's attention span is very short. Make a video more than 15 seconds. It really needs to be a real video of content. The second thing I can do to make it more interesting is to add music. And the music option is here on the left hand side. And I click on music and it will give me music. Let me select this music blizzards. In addition to this, you can also add videos. We have hundreds and thousands of videos also. A lot of them are free. So if you want to have a video and then if I say play. So as you can see by adding these elements of music, video, animation, you're already creating something which are static into something that is moving. You have placed all these elements. And what I want to show you now is editing all these objects that you click on it on top, certain things change automatically. When I click on the text object, you get more options here. So depending on what object I'm clicking, the top part keeps changing. For every object that you have placed on the canvas, you can change its properties. Let's start by looking at text. I had shown you how to change the size by clicking on this arrow and choosing the size of the font. Also, I had shown you how you can change the font itself from the different fonts that are available for us. But you can do a lot of other things also. First of all, the color, you can change to whichever color you want. When I click on it, I see that the bold is not available to me. The italics is not available to me. And when I see that, what it means is that this font doesn't have those properties. But let me change the font to Montserrat. When I change the font to Montserrat, it has the ability to be bold, italic. So depending on the font, some of this might be available to you. Some of it might not be available to you. Another interesting thing about it is, let's say I am placing this object on top of another object. If I click on the text object and I have a button here called position. Position allows me to move the object, for example, back. And what has happened is you can see that the text object has gone behind the other object. Now, let's say I want to bring the other object in front. So I will click on the photo and I'll send the photo back which means the text object has come in front. The second thing I want to show you is when you have two objects, you want to group them together. I click on this object. I hold the shift key and I click the second object. So it has selected both the objects for me. And now when I select more than one object, a new option comes here called group. And if I click on the group button, what it has done is it has combined both these objects together. 
So if I increase or decrease, it affects both the objects at the same time. Anytime you decide, oh, no, 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 I want them separate, click on it, and it is now showing the option to ungroup. Now they are separate, you can move them independently. The next property that I want to tell you about any element is when you click on it, you can see something called a transparency. So the transparency is allows you to change the transparency of the object okay, to make it more or less transparent. And this can be used for some interesting effect. Let me give you an idea. Let's say I have this photo and I have this object. Let's say it's not transparent. It is normal photo, but let's say I have something like this. So this object is in front and the photo is behind. But look what happens when I click on this object and I change its transparency. I'll reduce it. The more you increase the transparency, the more of the object behind is revealed through the transparency. Any object on the canvas can have a different transparency. Canva is now a child's play. <laughs> Thank you so much for making us learn Canva in such an easy way. And I'm sure uh, people have loved your session and uh, there will be more requests coming in for you to for the more sessions. And uh, so many thank yous are coming on the chat. I request everybody to please put it on the feedback form. We would love to have it collated and send it to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for joining in.